Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid DAC DC microgrip and its coordination control. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for a notification about upcoming videos. So, first we are going to see about the block diagram of hybrid DAC DC microgrid. So this system going to be implemented in MATLAB simulation. So first we have to discuss about this basic block diagram. Okay. So this is a basic block diagram of hybrid AC DC microgrid. So it consists of a solar PV panel and then boost converter and then DC load. And then it have battery storage system. It have bidirectional converter. So this section, right? Uh, this solar PV with the boost converter, DC load, and bidirectional converter battery is going to be considered as a DC microgrid. Okay, and then. <coughs> The output of this uh, that means uh, the DC bus, the DC bus going to be connected to the AC system. So via yeah, this main converter. So this is voltage source converter. Okay. So this AC voltage source converter. That means it going to be act as a bidirectional uh, DC DC uh, inverter or converter. Okay. So it also uh, act as a bidirectional converter. So it can take power from that means it, it can allow the power flow between uh, DC microgrid to AC microgrid and then AC microgrid to uh, DC microgrid. So this uh, converter can be connected with the AC microgrid system. So AC microgrid, so this is AK, AC microgrid system. So it consists of uh, utility grid and then Wind energy system consists of DFI double field induction generator. So this whole setup when we act as a AC grid. Okay. So here we have AC load. So here we are going to implement the same concept, same block diagram in MATLAB. Okay. That means this is known as hybrid AC DC microgrid. That means we are going to use both DC grid and the AC grid to supply the power to the DC load as well as AC load. So the power going to be exchanged in between AC grid to DC grid and DC grid to AC grid. Okay. So next we go to see about the MATLAB implementation of this same system. So what whatever we saw that in the block diagram, right? See how to implement. In the MATLAB, so this is the implemented uh, diagram for that uh, hybrid AC DC microgrid system. So, this system consists of the battery and then this is known as uh, DC load, and then this is known as a uh, bidirectional converter, and this is known as solar PV powered. Uh, grid connected system so it consists of uh, two stage conversion double stage conversion that means it consists of boost converter and uh, inverter okay and then it consists of uh, df ig wind turbine and then main grid and then two ac low okay so whatever we saw we saw in that uh, block diagram right same thing will be implemented in the matlab so we will see the detail of the power uh, power rating of the each system so first we consider battery so battery nominal voltage here consider as uh, 300 and the rated capacity of the battery is 400 h and then 
start state of charge of my battery is 71 percentage and then i'm going and that mean here you can see the dc load so my dc load power is 15 kilowatts okay so only we consider electricity load so just you consider active power so active power is 15 kilowatt okay and then go inside that term uh, and double stage and uh, get connected solar pv system so it consists of so solar pv panel so here we are using 15 parallel panel and then 10 series panel so each panel single panel rating rating is 228 watts and then voltage rating is 29.9 volt and then current is 7.65 amps so this is so that is 7.1 is open circuit voltage and 8.18 is the short circuit current so this is the pv and iv characteristics of that uh, consider solar pv array or dif uh, different irradiation condition so for uh, 1000 watts per meter square Uh, maximum uh, that means maximum power is around 34 kilowatts and then maximum voltage is around 299 for 500 watts per meter square the maximum power is 17 kilowatts and the voltage will be 30 sorry 300.5 volt and for 100 watts per meter square the power is around 3.3 kilowatts and voltage is around 288 is 286.7 volt okay so this is a pv and iv six of the so consider solar pv area so maximum rating is around 30, 34 kilowatt right and then is going to be connected with the boost converter okay so after is Boost converter, we are going to use a grid inverter, three level grid inverter, and then connected to the, the DAC grid okay, via harmonic filter and a transformer. And here we are having inverter as well as uh, boost converter control. So here we are using uh, for controlling the boost converter, we are using. P and O MBBT algorithm. Okay. For controlling that inverter, we are using uh, DQ control method. So P and O MBBT receive uh, PV voltage and PV current, and it generates some reference voltage. Okay. So this reference voltage can be convert with that uh, the output of the boost converter voltage is process via PA controller and then when we process via PDM generator it will be generate the pulse for that uh, boost converter so next you have to measure that uh, the inverter output voltage and current so that going to be converted into a DQ frame, okay. So ABC to DQ, and then you have to provide a reference current, right? So this reference current will be generated based upon the SOC of the battery, okay. So here, so we have created two logic, right? So if the SOC is less than 30 percentage. We are taking power from the grid when SOC is greater than 70 we are going to provide power to the grid so this is two logic we are created okay so based upon this logic the reference current will be fixed here and then going to be processed by our current regulator and then we have to generate the controlled signal based upon that DQ uh, that mean after current controller, right?
the output of current control controller will be used for generating that uh, modulating signals to generate the pulse for that uh, invert okay and then going to be connected to the uh, grid system okay so next you have to see the power rating of dfig so the power rating of a turbine is 45 kilowatts and then power rating of the uh, generator is 45 kilowatt divided by 0 0.9 and then it will be connected with uh, this system and then here the, the wind speed is uh, change from 12 meter per second to 9 meter per second after 10 seconds and here you can see that irradiation is keep on changing that means every two seconds right you have to change the irradiation that means here we are changing irradiation from 1000 to 800 600 400 200 and 0 and then 200 400 600 800 1000 right so we are changing the degradation for every two seconds okay and then you have to check the reset and also here you can see that the ac load is around 17.5 kilowatt and then another load around 12.5 kilowatt so here we are measuring that uh, power of the grid so this is used for measuring the power of the grid in kilowatt so this is used for measuring the power of the PV array. So these two are used for measuring the power of the AC load, and this is used for measuring the power of the battery, and then this is used for measuring the power of the wind turbine. And here we are using a voltage control DC bus. That means a DC grid voltage control. Okay. So here we are going to measure the DC link voltage and compare with the 470. So here DC bus voltage is maintained at 470 volt and going to be processed via PA controller and process via PWM generator. It will be generated the pulse for this bidirectional directional converter not to maintain the voltage around 470 volt in the DC bus. Okay. So here we are going to measure the uh, DC bus uh, details that means DC bus voltage, DC load power current okay and here we are measuring the battery detail right battery soc okay and battery current and then here also you are measuring that uh, battery voltage current and power so yes so already the model is simulated so let's let me discuss what i said discuss about the results so here the no detail So here you can see that initially from uh, from 0 to 10 second right the power of the grid is negative so that's mean uh, the uh, grid receiving power from the dc grid and as well as uh, wind generator right so after 10 second right what happened that uh, grid power is uh, goes that means nearest to zero because so initially wind power right is around uh, around nearly 40 kilowatt right so after that that means from zero to 10 second the speed is maintained at 12 meter per second right after uh, 10 second that the speed is changed from 12 meter per second to 9 meter per second because of that power is reducing here so because of that what happened power uh, given to that grid going to be reduced so that's why the power is decrease that means and power in the negative region goes to nearer to zero right so because of reduction in the wind power because of reduction in the wind speed and here you can see that variation of uh, so this one is um, solar pv power and battery power right so based upon uh, the solar PV power, so you can see the battery charging and discharging condition, right? So initially the solar PV power is around uh, 
at 33 kilowatt so during that time the battery goes to charging more so after uh, uh, every two second right the radiation change from 1000 to 800 and then 600 and then 400 and then 200 and then 0 and on saying goes to 200 400 600 800 so because of this uh, reduction in the radiation so what happened in the battery power so battery move from charging stage to uh, discharging stage right because of uh, reduction and that because of uh, power reduction in the pv panel because of because of radiation change so there will be a coordinate control between that uh, solar pv and a uh, battery system okay and then here you can see that the load is load is continuously getting power from the ac and dc microgrid next you have to see about uh, dc load So here you can see that uh, this is a DC a duty cycle for that badass in DC is converter. And then this is a dieseling voltage it's maintained at around 470 volt. And then this is DC load current and then DC load power. So DC load power maintained at 15 kilowatt in all operating condition of the solar PV system. Okay. So next you got to see about the source in so here you can see that so initially uh, the battery right so battery is goes to some charging mode initially but after two second right the irradiation change from 1800 watts so because of that so battery uh, try to manage the power supply right so it tried to supply the dc load as well as ac load right so that's why soc is uh, keep on decreasing here so this is variation of uh, current right so initially in charging mode and then after two seconds it goes to the charging mode and then come back to the charging mode so according with the solar pv irradiation right so this is a uh, detail of battery current and soc here you can see that so this is uh, a PV voltage, sorry, battery voltage, battery current, and then battery power, and SOC of the battery. Okay, same thing. So it will be changed according to the change in irradiation PV power, right? So this is a total operation of hybrid AC and DC a microgrid system. Thank you for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye